The two forwards are 6'4 freshman Charles Pride and 6'7 redshirt freshman Hall Elijah. Now, we mentioned Elijah and the shot blocking ability he possesses, still in the top 20 in the country in that category. But Pride has gone a lot smaller, partially because Mount St. Mary's is so small. We mentioned Damian Chong Kui at 5'8. I think Michael Green specifically is starting this game to chase him around a little bit. You mentioned the bigger guard and length to your advantage, but with Michael Green, you have the quickness you need to keep up with him. Exactly, and I think that's exactly what they're trying to do. Match up a little quickness on quickness. Mike Green definitely brings that, so I definitely think it's a matchup played by the Bulldogs and making that move. On the other side, the three guards are six-foot sophomore Votto Morse. We talked about him, the reigning NEC Rookie of the Year. The second guard is 5'8 sophomore Damian Chong Kui, averaging a little less than 12 points a game, leads this team in scoring. The third guard is 6'3 junior Jalen Gibbs, and Gibbs leads this team in minutes played a game, about 35 a game, very important cog in this machine. Two forwards are 6'9", Richard, sophomore Nana Opoku, and 6'9", sophomore Malik Jefferson. Jefferson coming off a big game, 23 points and 9 rebounds his last time out. Both of these forwards, 6 feet 9 inches tall, both of these forwards playing very, very well for Mount St. Mary's entering this game. Yeah, and I think that's a huge point to be made, and that's a great reason the Bulldogs are happy to have Hall Elijah's back, be able to match up bodies on bodies and being able to provide that interior defense on these two big, um, big bigs. Bryant, including the program's time at Division II, the Bulldogs are 9-13 and against this team overall. Bryant has won the last three innings, is their longest winning streak against any NEC opponent. The last time out against the Mount Senior Day here, at the Chase Athletic Center, and Bryant scored a blowout, 81-58 win. And Frankie, really the number to focus on for Bryant defensively is 70. Bryant is 8-0 when holding their opponents to 70 points or less. And it seems to be that way for all teams. I'm not sure why 70 is the magic number. I'm sure as a coach you focused on 70. But I don't know why that is, but there you have it. 8-0 when they hold teams to 70 or less. Exactly. Hey, there's numbers behind it. Analytics a little bit. Pace of play. You know, if they're able to keep... You know, Miles St. Mary's under 70. I'm sure they're going to try to do the same thing. The team who does that is going to come out on top tonight. Now, like Fairleigh Dickinson before them, Mount St. Mary's does not shoot the basketball well from distance. As a team, they shoot 28%. They're 344th out of 340, uh, 55 or 53 Division One basketball teams. 344th out of 353 Division One teams in shooting the three. Bryant goes right to left to start here in the first half, and they win the tip. Michael Green getting the start today. Hall Elijah's up top, and we're underway. Green comes back to the basketball from Pride on a bounce. The freshman guard, Pride, pops out. Pride looking down low, not there against the 2-3 zone. Green behind the screen. Green looking to go. There's Pride, drives the lane, got caught in the air and had the shot rejected by Apoku. Out of bounds, it'll be Bryant Ball. But with only eight seconds to shoot it. Yeah, interesting early on, looked like Ike was trying to post up the smaller guard. We'll see how that translates as we go into the next play. Eight on the shot clock. It's Green out deep. Green with six, with five. Green, foul on underneath. It's Elijah's a great look on the screen and roll. Two-hand flush, and the Bulldogs have the lead. And they come out in a 1-3-1 half-court zone trap. There's Chong Kui over midcourt, working to the left. Skip pass on the right-hand side. That's Morse. Apoku straight away. Apoku back to Morse. Hands back for Chong Kui. And Bryant settles into a 2-3 zone. Outside, that's Jalen Gibbs. Up top, it's Chong Kui. Five to shoot it. Chong Kui behind the screen. Dives into the lane. Lost the ball. They're calling a kickball. And that bails out Mount St. Mary's. It's a fortunate break. Looking Resets to to the shot play. clock to yeah. 20 seconds. Very good defensive possession there for Bryant. Gibbs looking to get it in. Gibbs Lost still him. looking. Morse got free on a screen. Morse steps in. Bounce pass knocked away. Grant had it. And now it's Green in the open floor. Green skip past Naduba. Naduba, Jefferson comes out to meet him. Low block. It's Elijah's backing down on a poku. Elijah's drop step not there. Double team. Still plenty of time to shoot it. Back outside. It's Green near midcourt. Green uses an Elijah screen. Green into the lane. Green to the foul line on the bounce. It's Elijah's. Back drop off the window and good. Welcome back, Hall Elijah. Good move, good finish. Good jab step by Hall. He's got all four points in this game. We played 90 seconds. Chong Kui over midcourt backs up. Bryant looking to go 2-1 in NEC play and win their 10th game of the year, matching their total from all of last season. 
Pass in the middle. Apoku over Elijah. It's short. Elijah tips the rebound out deep, but Gibbs has it. He takes the three, misses it badly. Elijah goes high for the rebound. That shoulder so far looks good. And in the front court, it's Naduba. Naduba to the top. There's Grant. Fakes the three. Gibbs not biting. Grant out deep. Grant wanted to pass it. Gave it up. There's Ike. Finds Pride on the weave. Pride to the foul line. Kicks it out to Elijah. Elijah's looking for help. Still 10 to shoot it. Naduba comes to the basketball. Chong Kui on him. Ike off the window. Wild shot. No good. Pride's got it. Grant for three from the corner. is good. Adam Grant picking up right where he left off. It's 7-0. Timeout Dan Engelstad. Hey, and that was a great play. Offensive rebound are the best opportunities for threes. You find your best three-point shooter, Adam Grant, and he knocks it down. The weave up top seems to be working for Bryant. It was not working. They tried that against Fairley Dickinson, but a great look outside by Charles Pride to find Grant alone in the corner. There is no hotter player in the NFC. Uh, NFC. The, I'm thinking of the playoffs. The playoffs are going <laughs> to start playoffs, momentarily. Hey. There's no hotter player in the NF- NEC than Adam Grant. Yeah, and, you know, that's exactly what he does. And early on, that's his exact start that Coach Grosso wanted to see from his guys. You know, it's not necessarily the offense, but the extra effort plays. You saw Pride come in, get that offensive rebound, kick it out. Great team play to your best shooter. That's what led him off to the 7-0 start so far. Patrick Harding, the first substitution for Bryant. He's at the back end of this 1-3-1 zone trap. He replaces Hall Elijahs. Back into a 2-3 zone. Harding right in the middle of it on the back end. Chong Kui works the ball to the right hands for Morse. In the middle, it's Jefferson. Watched by Harding. Malik Jefferson on a bounce. It's Morse. They left him alone for three. Makes the shot. Yeah. Votto Morse, only 27% from distance. Those are the first three points from Mount St. Mary's today. Bryant with a four-point lead. Naduba straight away. Hands for Harding. Takes the weave to Pride. Yeah, Back door. Yeah, it's Pat. green, and he lays it in. We saw a lot of that last week. And that's exactly what Pat Harden brings, rebounding in the high pass. Why you able to make a great bounce pass there on the for the finish? We're three minutes in. Brian away to a 9-3 lead. Chong Kui against the 2-3 zone. High for Jefferson at the foul line. On a bounce, looking for help. Chong Kui right corner, trying to go on Pride. Pride shut him off. Jefferson in the middle, working on Harding. Jefferson, a tough left-handed shot is good. Jefferson coming off a big game, 23 points and 9 rebounds against LIU last week. Brian away to a 9-5 lead. It's Grant. Harding now in the corner, Green. Double teamed. Up top it's Pride. Around the horn, Grant. Corner, 3. Missed it. Rebound underneath. Harding kicks it back out to Duba. There's Green for 3 from the right. Knocks it down. Good shot. Michael Green, his eighth made three of the season. It's 12 to 5. 2 3 zone has worked for Bryant so far. They stick with it. Morse, double team near the top. Morse in trouble. Chong Kui along the right sideline. Chong Kui swoops into the middle, backs up. It's Morse, resets the offense with 12 on the shot clock. Morse crosses over Green, hard to the basket, around the rim and off. Rebound Pride goes out of bounds, off of Morse. Bryant basketball. Timeout on the floor. 15-41 to play in the first half. Your score, Bryant 12, Mount St. Mary's 5. This is Bryant men's basketball on NEC front row. And for the first time in history, the Bryant Bulldogs are Northeast Conference champions.
And it rebound comes down to Apoku from out St. Mary's. Coming back the other way, Chong Kui. Stopped in his tracks by Green in transition. He backs it off. Chong Kui out deep on the right wing against the 2 3 zone. Dribbles to the top. Morse, corner, three. Miller missed it. Goes up top of the backboard, and it comes down to Bryant. Good rebound for Patrick Harding. Quickly up the floor. Pride for three in transition. No. Harding had a chance at the rebound. Couldn't get it. Jefferson takes it away from him. Mount St. Mary's coming back the other way. Brian up by nine, about six minutes in. Wholesale substitutions coming in for Brian at the next whistle. Chong Kui, foul line, jumper, missed it badly long. And the Duba, another rebound for the Bulldogs. Green in transition. Green to the right. Green lost it. Had his pocket picked by Miller from behind. Chong Kui up the floor, Morse for the mount. Morse up top, Chong Kui, who's been very quiet early on. Against the 2 3 zone. Chong Kui to the right. Hands for Morse. Jefferson at the foul line, working on Harding. Drop step, left. backs up, makes the shot. Nice Tough move. Shot. Good move. A little lefty jump hook. That's a good move there by the big fella. 14 to 7, Bulldogs by 7. 13 22 to go in the first half. Green out deep against the man to man. Backs up. Morse watching him. Green, double team, dribbles away from it, working the ball good to the skip, left, skip pass. past Pride, has all day and good knocks play. down a three. Yeah. That was a great play there by Green, was able to beat the hard heads, looked off the roll guy, able to skip it to a wide open shot, great shot by Pride. Four early threes for Bryant in the first seven minutes, the lead is ten. Pass to the corner, by himself it's Traveling. Morse, had a wide open three, up faked, call for traveling, Bryant's got the ball on the turnover. Cardenas, Lynn, and Elijah's back in for Bryant. So it's those three, Green and Grant, on the floor now for head coach Jared Grasso, by the way, who's battling the flu over there on the far sideline. Bryant by 10 in the ball, 12.52 to play in the first half. Green working the ball out deep on the right. Green behind an Elijah screen, double teamed. Green right-handed dribble backs up. Straight away, there's Cardenas' first touch. Grant swings to the top, watched by Chong Kui. Grant's going to back him down. Grant, Good quick time. pass underneath. Cardenas up, fakes, had the shot blocked from behind. Got it back, lays it up and in. Good play there by Cardenas, who didn't give up on it. And it's a 12-point lead at 19-7. to Brian stays in the 2-3 zone, and oddly enough, Cardenas is at the top of it. Almost never yeah. see that. Don't see that too often. And a little bit of length up at the top of that zone. Gibbs. Looking for help. Chong Kui out deep on the left. Low post, it's Apoku. Elijah's staying with him, but Apoku no. makes it anyway. Good move. 19-9, Bulldogs by 10. A little over eight minutes into the ball game. Green. Drop pass, Cardenas. That's Elijah who comes to the basketball. Dribbles to the top. Now it's back to Green. Behind the screen. Green, skip pass now. That's Benson Lynn. Lynn into the lane. Lynn Step leads through. in. Great move. Missed the shot, though. And then got called for a foul going for the rebound. Good move by the freshman Lynn. Time out on the floor. 11.37 to play in the first half. Your score, Bryant 19, Mount St. Mary's 9. This is Bryant men's basketball on NEC Front Row. To be Bryant means that you challenge yourself to excel. And you inspire others to excel. It means you have the drive and inner determination. To be an innovative leader. It means that you're real world ready. To drive change. And make a difference. And you have the resources to draw on and the strength of your own will. To discover your passion. Every day at Bryant is an opportunity to break boundaries and reach your fullest potential. Our integration of unsurpassed business education and liberal arts is empowering. And prepares you for leadership and achievement. For more than a century and a half, Bryant has inspired excellence in an ever-changing world. To be Bryant means that you push yourself to realize your full potential. It means that you immerse yourself in a unique culture of innovation and success. One that is competitive and prepares you for your chosen profession. And also honors community, social responsibility, and values. Where you can match business and liberal arts programs. And build your credentials for success. 99% of Bryant's graduating class is either employed or in graduate school within six months of graduation. I had a job offer before winter break. 
Back live in Smithfield, Rhode Island. I'm John Wallach. He's Frankie Dobbs. Brian away to an early 10-point lead, 19-9 with 11.37 to go. Brian has held Mount St. Mary's to 4 for 10 shooting from the field. Brian 8 of 14. Most importantly, they have out-rebounded the Mount 9-3 here in the early going. It'll be Mount St. Mary's ball. With Cardenas at the top of a 1-3-1 zone trap press. Jared Grasso has gone with this early on in the ball game, but Mount St. Mary's breaks it. Freshman point guard Ian Teal in the game for the first time, wearing number five. He's got the basketball now. At the foul line, it's Apoku. Backing down on Elijah's. Hall not giving him anything. Apoku throws it at the rim. Elijah's all to the shot and then blocked the follow by Jalen Jefferson. His first block of the game. Bryant Ball. Here comes Grant. Pass underneath Cardenas. Another reverse layup is no good. Might have forced that one. And Mount St. Mary's has the basketball. Ian Teal. Out deep on the right. Goes by Cardenas into the lane. Kicks it out deep. That's Miller for three. That's long. And it hit the shot clock as it bounced off the rim up high. It'll be Bryant Ball. And Malik Jefferson checks back in for his twin brother Jalen, number 34. There are nine players on this Mount St. Mary's team, either from Maryland or Virginia, which makes sense. School is based in Emmitsburg, Maryland. You're recruiting locally. Yeah, the DMV area has got a lot of talent. No, it doesn't surprise me at all. Naduba, Lynn on the right. Lynn looking for help. Still looking. Still looking. Still looking. Finally got rid of it to Grant with nine on the shot clock. Grant blows by his man right to the basket, lays it up. No, tipped up and in by Elijah's, but they called offensive goaltending. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. That looked like it might have been off the rim, but I guess the ref saw it otherwise. Hall Elijah's looking very, very active. We're keeping an eye on that shoulder, and we're getting a replay. You see it here. I'm not convinced that was on the rim. No, that's a good tip. Yeah. That's a good tip. Ref missed it. Missed that one. Mount St. Mary's basketball, 2-3 zone, and then again, there again is Cardenas at the top of it. Six foot seven inch guy in this league at the top of a 2-3 zone. Yeah, it's interesting to see if that affects the rebounding. Morse now Teal in the corner, Gibbs going baseline, lays it up, no. Rebound tipped up by Jefferson, no, but Jefferson is fouled. He will go to the line. And that's a little bit of the the risk you take you have one at the top a lot of length but on the inside you can see here a miss the offensive rebound uh looked like it hurt the bulldogs there because he was not low so jefferson to the line averaging 10 points and a team leading eight rebounds a game a couple of double doubles this season misses the first free throw he is the worst free throw shooter on the team only jefferson now 10 of 27 after that miss 6-3 redshirt junior Brandon Leftwich wearing number 23 into the ball game for the mound for the first time. And 6-9 sophomore Malik Jefferson will have another. Bryant's lead is 10 as we close in on the midway point of the first half. Jefferson misses both free throws and Cardenas grabs the rebound for Bryant. Harding on the floor with Cardenas. Fakes the three. Cardenas left wing. The Dubas straight away. Io Dada in the game for the first time for Bryant. Wearing number two, he's got the basketball now. Dada almost dribbled on the midcourt line. There's Naduba with 10 on the shot clock. Naduba looking for help. Circles, fouled out deep by Jefferson, a good 30 feet from the basket. Yeah, you know, that was a veteran move by Ike there. Seeing the low shot clock, only five seconds, goes at the outside hip, gets a foul, resets the shot clock. That's a veteran play that, you know, you don't always see all the time. As a former point guard, you are well aware. Yeah, I I would like to say I taught him that, but, you know, (laughs) I think he he learned that back in his AAU days. Smart play there by Ike. (laughs) Got the basketball with 20 on the shot clock. Ike finds Dada out deep on the left-hand side. Dada into the lane. Skip past the Duba in the corner. Falls away for three. Missed the shot. Harding tips out the rebound long, coming right at us. And Benson Lynn couldn't track it down. You're not supposed to lean back when that happens. You're the ex-basketball player. You're supposed to protect me in cases like that. Listen, that was not worth me you, the reward. You slowed down a step? The risk-reward ratio was not yeah. worth it. I'm going a, I'm to a get out of harm's way on that one. You still don't move while the left. <laughs> 9.30 to play. The mount with the basketball. I know. I'll pay for that later. <laughs> Leftwich working the ball to the right-hand side. Morse to the top. There's Teal. Teal into the lane. Fell down. Lost the ball. Cardenas out in open floor. That's Dada. Naduba 
Cross court, yep. Lynn, wide open, corner three, count it! Benson Lynn's first three of the game, and the lead is 13. Nine minutes to go in the first half. Leftwich to the right, Morse dribbles to the top against the 2 3 zone. Teal looking to go, Dada shuts him off. Vado Morse. Teal, Dada another good defensive play. Down low, that's a Poku shot in the lane, good off the window. 22 11, Bulldogs by 11 points. 8.38 to go in the first half. Harding finds Lynn out deep on the left wing. Lynn backs up. There's Harding. Harding finds Naduba. Naduba hard to the basket. Fouled on the way there. Only the third team foul for Mount St. Mary's. I think the foul will go on Ian Teal. Yeah, they're going to keep it on the floor and got subs coming in here. We got Green, Pride, and Elijah's coming on. Cardenas, Naduba, and Harding going off. So Iodata, who had not gotten a lot of playing time in the last couple weeks, stays out there. Substitutions to the mount as well. Bryant ball with 20 on the shot clock. Green out deep on the left, uses screen, backs up. Green behind an Elijah screen. Green finds Dada. Dada to the foul line. Dada falls away. Dada missed a shot. Rebound Miller for the bounce. Chong Kui just came back on over midcourt. Hands now for a Poku. Poku now Morse at the foul line. Jefferson trying to go on Elijah. And Elijah's blocked the shot. Mount still has the basketball with 15 on the shot clock. Second block of the day for Hall Elijah. Chong Kui on the right wing. Dribbles around a double team, a three from the corner off the side of the backboard by Miller. However, right there to clean up the garbage is a Poku, and he stuffs it. 22-13, Bulldogs by nine, 7.40 to play in the first half. Lynn behind the screen, hands for Dada. Now Pride. Pride, now Elijah. Green out on the left. Green looking to go. Crosses over his man, fires away, air ball short. Lynn saves the basketball, but Malik Jefferson has it from out St. Mary's. Yeah. I'm out making a run here. Yeah, you know, Brian, you don't want to get complacent here. That was a little bit of a force there. You want to try to get a good shot every time down. On the left, it's Miller. Morse straight away. Morse, hands for Chong Kui. Now Miller, Chong Kui behind the screen. Slizzers through the lane, all the way to the basket. No, rebound tip, no. Lynn has it. dada has got it now. One on three, directing traffic. Io Dada. Finds Green. Down low in the middle. Shot by Pride is good. Somehow avoided the shot block by Malik Jefferson and finished. He's got five and the Bulldogs lead is 11 again. 6.43 to play in the first half. Bryant staying in the 2-3 zone. They've been there most of the afternoon. Damian Chong Kui. Morse now Chong Kui again. Working the ball to the left. Chong Kui. Morse fakes the three. Pride shut it off. A Poku. That's yeah. Miller. And a foul coming up on the Bulldogs. When we return, 6.23 to play in the first half. Your score, Bryant 24, Mount St. Mary's 13. This is Bryant men's basketball. NEC front row. to go in the first half. Bryant on top of Mount St. Mary's 24-13. And Frankie, the Mount had made a little bit of a run, but Bryant's still not panicking. Still moving the ball exceptionally well. They were still working the offense. And we didn't see that against Fairleigh Dickinson. They panicked at times in the second half. Not seeing that today. They look like they're playing very much within themselves. Absolutely. And I think that's reflected in their efficiency. Shooting a little over 45%. 
on the field and 57% from three. On the other end, you see Mount St. Mary's 30% from the field, 16% from three, and I think that's really been the difference so far. Mount St. Mary's averaging 63 points a game. That puts them 330th out of 353 Division I men's basketball teams. And again, only 13 points in 14 minutes today. Jalen Gibbs hard to the basket. No. Rebound underneath Malik Jefferson. Yes. He has been a monster underneath and is keeping his team in a ball game. 24-15. Jefferson has six of the 15 so far for the mount. Green watched by Chung Kui. In the middle, it's Grant all the way to the basket. Missed the layup. I think he was surprised at how open he was. He's not used to being that open. Left side, it's Miller. Fall away jumper is no good. And the rebound, Pride for Bryant. Comes Pride the other way. Naduba, pass underneath. It's Harding. Blocked by Chung Kui. And then Harding stepped out of bounds. What a play by the little fella. Able to get up. Get the block. How about that? He gives up a foot <laughs> to Patrick Harding. And he blocked his shot from behind. How about that? I know he's going to be talking to the guys later oh. on film. You see that play? We're going to run that video back ad nauseum. <laughs> that was a great play by the little guy. Nathaniel Stokes in the game for the first time for Bryant. We're in number four, right in the middle of that 2-3 zone. Green and Naduba at the top of it. Chong Kui to the right. Chong Kui finds Morse, who is score, has three points. I was going to say he's scoreless. He did hit a three earlier. Up top, it's Damien Chong Kui. Chong Kui to the right. Backs up. Grant let him have the shot, and he missed the three. Rebound underneath left, which, yes. 24-17. This is as close as the mount's been in a while. Coming up on five minutes to go in half number one. Green comes to the basketball. Watched by Damien Chong Kui. Green, standing at 5'11", being guarded by a guy 5'8". Green behind the screen. Green to the side. Pride, three. Missed it long. Rebound underneath. Gibbs for the bout. They can get closer. Bryant stays in the 2-3 zone. Up top, it's Morse. Gibbs back to Morse on the left. There's Malik Jefferson. In the middle, that's left, which kick to the corner. Three for Gibbs. Missed it badly. And the rebound comes down to Naduba for Bryant. Naduba to the right. Naduba steps through the lane. A runner is tough. good from the right side. Tough shot. Very tough shot. Right there, Ike didn't even look to see they have numbers, but was able to find his way to the basket and make that tough finish. Great shot. Four first half points for Ike. The lead back to nine. Coming up on four minutes to go in the first half. Damian Chung Kui running the points. Gibbs comes to the basketball on the left. Watched by Grant. Man to man this time for Bryant. Jefferson watched by Stokes. Outside Chong Kui. Seven on the shot clock. Chong Kui fouled out deep by Stokes and went to double him. Yeah. And that's a tough thing to do as a big, being able to get out there on a hard head, especially if a guy as quick as he is, he's able to draw the foul. Good play by Mount. Timeout on the floor. 3.54 to go in the first half. Your score, Bryant 26. Mount St. Mary 17. This is Bryant men's basketball in NEC front row. John Wallach, Frankie Dobbs back live inside the Chase Athletic Center in Smithfield, Rhode Island. 3.54 to go in the first half. Brian has led throughout. They jumped out to a 7-0 lead. They have not looked back. The lead has been as big as 13. They lead by 9 here. 26-17. 
great playing so far. It hasn't been just Adam Grant. Adam Grant has three first half points. Bryant's getting contributions from everybody here. A balanced scoring attack for the first time in a while. Yeah, and it's not only scoring, Coach Gross has played a ton of guys today. You know, whether it's Nathaniel Stokes, you see him coming in right now. Uh, been playing some minutes, I.O. being in. So it's not even on the points, but minute wise, and that's something you like to see to add to that depth uh, that Bryant has. Bryant looking to go 2-1 and one in conference play and looking for their 10th win of the season, which, as I said at the top, would match their win total from last year. Nana Opoku passed down low for Jefferson, was being held by Charles Pride. Pride wearing number five there on your screen, hanging on for dear life against the bigger guy. That's the fifth team foul on Bryant, the first on Pride. Hall Elijahs back in for Stokes. Elijahs. Playing with a sore right shoulder. Already has two blocks here in the first half. Jalen Gibbs to get it in for the mount. Gibbs does so. Jefferson in the right corner. Watched by Elijah. Brian in the man-to-man. They had been mostly a 2-3 zone team here in the first half. Yep. And now Elijah gets called for a bad foul on Chong Kui, 30 feet from the basket. Chong Kui doing an Ike impersonation. Able to go hip-to-hip -hip with the big. Get the chief foul on the big fella. Those little plays, they add up, get them one step closer to the one and one. So now Bryant is at the limit. Mount St. Mary's will be shooting one and one the rest of the first half. Chong Kui finds Gibbs on the left. Chong Kui straight away. Bryant now back to a 2 3 zone. Jefferson, one dribble, hands for Chong Kui to the foul line, backs up. Eight on the shot clock. Chong Kui around green, call for traveling, and that's where the substitution paid off. Exactly. Maybe right. Benson Lynn doesn't stay with him there, and the five foot eleven inch Michael Green did that's step exactly for right. step, caused a turnover. Bryant Ball in a nine point lead. It's Elijah Green, Cardenas, Grant, and Naduba. Those are the five on the floor for head coach Jared Grosso. Green in the backcourt, watched by Brandon Leftwich. Green over midcourt, finds Cardenas. Grant straight away. Now to do it to the basketball. Green pops out right up top, and he is fouled out deep by Jefferson again. That's his second foul. So now head coach Dan Engelstad has a decision to make with 3.11 to go in the first half. His big man, his best big man, just picked up his second foul. Yeah, and it looks like he's going to take him out of the game so he doesn't risk getting his third. That's big for Bryant. As Jefferson has been playing very well here in the first half. Back to play, it's Green. Hands for Naduba. Ike, now there's Grant. Finds Green on the left against the man to man. Green steps through a screen with the basketball. Green with eight on the shot clock. Skip pass, Naduba to the right side. Green fakes the three. Two on the shot yeah. clock, had a shot blocked from behind by Vado Morse with one second left to shoot it. Bryant ball out of bounds with one on the shot clock. Watch Adam Grant here. He loves these situations. Green looking to get it in. Loops it high for Elijah and gets away from him. Coming back the other way. It's left, which all the way through. Rejected from behind. Oh, no. He wow. made the shot anyway. Cardenas went high. Elijah went high. I thought the shot got blocked. Somehow he put the ball in and got fouled. What a finish here. You can see it on the replay. Able to come in. There are three the guys glass. there. And wow. those are the two best shot blockers Brian has. And Leftwich scored and the foul. Two fouls, by the way, on Cardenas after picking up that one. So Leftwich to the line. He is the best free throw shooter that Mount St. Mary's has. He is 11 for 12 from the line for the season. Leftwich fires. Leftwich misses. And but grabbed his own rebound, picked up by Elijah on a bounce. Bryant's got the ball. The lead remains at seven. Two forty to go in the first half. Straight away, it's Naduba. Naduba against a man-to-man, -man. directing traffic. Motions pride to come get it, and he does. There's Elijah's top of the key. Grant behind the screen. Double teamed immediately on the wing. Dribbles out of it, goes behind his back and lost it. Ball's on the floor. Here comes Morse the other way. Morse quick on a bounce. It's a Poku. Lays it up and blew the layup. Grant's got the rebound for Bryant. Grant over midcourt in Aduba. Back to Adam Grant straight away. Up fakes. Grant between his legs twice. Working the ball to the right. Hands for Pride. Yeah. Pride all the way through. Laid it up. Had it blocked by a Poku. Got it back and laid it in. 
Great second effort there by Pride, able to get in the lane. Got it tipped, but able to tip in his own block shot. Uh, great extra effort there played by freshman. Pride, seven first half points, 28-19. Bryant with the lead, 145 to go in the first half. Straight away, it's Vado Morse, the reigning NEC Rookie of the Year. At the foul line, Leftwich. Watched by Naduba, Good and hands. I picked his pocket. Benson Lynn the other way for Bryant. Dribbles through traffic. There's Pride. Back to Lynn. Wide open. Knocks down a three. Great transition basket for the Bulldogs. The lead is 12 again. That's what you like to see if you're the Bulldogs. Great defense. Leading to early transition offense. Benson Lynn able to knock it down. Bryant has bent here in the first half, but not broken. 1-10 to go in half number one. Chong Kui up top against a 2-3 zone. There's Morse. Chong Kui. Now Leftwich dribbles out of the corner, lays it up. No, but he got fouled. He's going to the line. Sorry, that is uh, 6'3 junior Jalen Gibbs who is going to the line. Nice move to the basket. Yeah, you can see here. And now, that is also the second foul on Hall, Elijah. Yeah, that's a big play. So Cardenas yeah. has two. Elijah has two. Patrick Harding's going to check in for Hall, Elijah, and momentarily. Jalen Gibbs to the line, one of four Mount St. Mary's players averaging between 10 and 12 points a game. He's right at 11 points, has gone scoreless, as you see there, so far in this half. Gibbs made six threes in a game earlier this season against Coppin State, makes the first one. Harding checks in, Elijah goes out. And now Green in the game, and Naduba checks out with 59 seconds left in the first half. So I guess that puts Charles Pride at the four, at least for the last minute. Gibbs steps to the line. Shot is up and good. He makes both 31-21. Bulldogs by 10, 59.2 seconds left in the first half. Green in the backcourt, watched by Morse. Gets the ball in from Patrick Harding. Green breaks the pressure by himself. Green to the right. Green up, so, up top now, that's Harding. Pride, hands for Lynn. Harding, Pride in the left corner. Pride behind the screen. Good Pride pass. back underneath Lynn and the ball knocked away. Coming back the other way, it's Gibbs. But Bryant back in transition. Gibbs, and now they rotate the ball back outside. It's Damian Chong Kui. Bryant should get the ball back. About a 12 second differential. Shot clock to game clock. Chong Kui trying to go on Lin, but Benson shut him off. 12 to shoot it now. Chong Kui behind the screen. Backs up. Up top. That's a Poku. Three in the air. He wow. made it. Wow. Nano Poku. Now 10 of 33 from deep. It's a seven point game. Shot clock is off. Eight seconds left. Green behind the screen. Green looking to grow. Green, Lynn outside, wide open. There it is. He makes the three, and that ends the first half. His second three of the first half gives Bryant a 10-point lead at the break. As we mentioned, Frankie, not panicking, calm most of the way through the half. You saw Benson Lynn up fake, got Sean Kui in the air, created some space for himself, and as you see there on the replay, calmly stepped forward and knocked down the three after it looked like Mount St. Mary's had gotten some momentum there entering the break. Exactly right, and that was a big shot, exactly. Mount St. Mary's had just made a three, cut it to seven. They could, you know, maybe ride that momentum into the second half, but instead, Green able to drive baseline, finds it wide open, Benson Lynn to do an up fake, knocks down the three instead of seven. It's now ten headed into the half. And as you see the numbers there on your screen, Bryant ent enters the second half shooting 6 of 10 from distance. That's the opposite of what we saw in the game last Saturday where Brian took 45 threes. They had 25 at the half. The shot selection has been much different, much different this afternoon. It has, and, they've, and so far Brian has done a good job with that. Bryant brings back its starting five to begin the second half. It's Grant, Naduba, Elijah, who had a couple of blocks in the first half. Pride and Green, and Bryant stays in the 2-3 zone. To begin the second half of play, Bryant goes left to right. Mount St. Mary's two of nine from distance in the first half. At the foul line, it's Malik Jefferson. Jefferson hands back for Damian Kwong, uh, Damian Chong Kui. I'll get that right. Jalen Gibbs out deep. 
Gibbs driving, pulls up, missed the shot. Elijah's, oh, Elijah's took a real tough fall. He went up high for it, but timed his jump wrong. Kind of got submarine by his own man, Naduba, fell flat on his back. He's in a lot of pain under the basket. Elijah's came in here with a bad right shoulder. This has nothing to do with that. He went up very high, and unfortunately, the ball stayed up a little higher than Elijah's did, and he took a tough fall under the basket. Yeah. They're helping him act to his feet. Let's see if he stays in the game. He looks like he's going to be all right. That's yep. Good sign. He's nodding his head. He's okay. Big sigh of relief for that man, Jared Grasso. It'll be Bryant Ball. I believe. Let's see. Nope. They're going to give no. it to Mount St. Mary's. No. So 20 on the shot clock. Mount St. Mary's basketball. Just underway here in the second half. See if Hall can shake off that last bump there. Chong Kui looking to get it in. Does so to Malik Jefferson. Jefferson. Hands for Vado Morse. Morse with only three points in this game. Almost lost the basketball. Jefferson backing down on Elijah. Spins in the lane and makes another shot. 34-26. Malik Jefferson with eight points in this game. Bryant with their first possession. Pride. Hands for Grant. Grant fouled out deep by Jalen Gibbs. Adam turned the corner. He looked like he wanted to head to the basket. Grant with only five first-half points for a guy who averages about 20 a game. You'd have to figure you'd try and pick it up here in half number two. Yeah, you know, Adam's a guy. You know, he's going to let the game come to him. His team has been well-bound so far. But, yes, we can definitely expect him to get going in the second half. Green with the basketball with 20 on the shot clock. Watched by Morse. Green waiting. Green on the left, uses an Elijah screen, dribbles to the top. There's Grant on the right wing, falls away, knocks down a three. There's Adam Grant. Right there on cue. We knew he was a little quiet that first half. Started off the second half strong there with the three ball. That's 20 made threes for Grant in three and a half games. Jefferson high post, watched by Naduba at the top of the 2-3 zone. Chong Kui, Jalen Gibbs, looped down low. There's Jefferson. Jefferson passed down low. Apoku flushes it two-handed. That's 11 points for Apoku. 37-28, Bulldogs by nine. We've played 90 seconds here in the second half. Naduba, hands for Grant. There's Green out deep on the left wing. Green along the sideline. It's Grant. Grant circles with Gibbs on him. Grant almost lost the basketball. Hands for Pride. Still 10 on the shot clock. There's Grant at the top. Missed it. Rebound. Pride went after it, and he got fouled by Chung Kui, who was holding on. Yeah, he was. Chung Lee was trying to put a box out to him, being a smaller guy looking to fight, but he looked to ride him out. And Pride, what he did in the first half, great extra play, gets an extra possession there for the Bulldogs. Two quick fouls, by the way, from Mount St. Mary's here in the early going in the second half. Grant down low, Naduba posting up on Chong Kui. They get it back to Grant, up fakes the three, drives into the lane, tough shot, airballed it short, landed out of bounds. It'll be Mount St. Mary's basketball. Grant was kind of making up his mind millisecond yeah. by millisecond there. You could see the wheels turning. Yeah, yeah, you know, turn down the quick shot, sidestep down the lane, you know, but that's what happens. You'll shake it off onto the next one. Bryant up nine. We're two minutes into the second half. Bryant's led all the way through so far. They took a 7-0 lead and have not looked back. Damian Chong Kui, watched by Green, who stays with him. Apoku, high yeah. post. It's Jefferson, fouled by Elijah. That's Hall's third. Yeah. Tough. So once again, a quick decision here by Jared Grosso. Still 17.43 to go, and he's going to go to the bench. Yep. Take Elijah out. Freshman Nathaniel Stokes is going to check in for him. Morse to get it in. Morse finds Jefferson. Back to Morse. Up fakes the three. Backs up. Gets the man to man. Down low it's Jefferson. Double team. Morse. Morse. Skip pass. Gibbs on the left. Gibbs into the lane. Over Stokes. Made the shot. And it's a seven point game. 37 30. Naduba on the left wing for the Bulldogs. Going left to right. Green out deep. Watched by Morse. There's Pride on the left wing. Skip past Stokes. Now Green. 
Behind the screen. Green hard to the basket. Green falls away. Blocked by Vado Morse. Coming back the other way, it's Chong Kui. Chong Kui is shot in the lane. No good. Jefferson, however, puts the shot back in. It's a five-point game. Ten points from Malik Jefferson. This is as close as the mount has been since the early stages of the ball game. Green, hands for Naduba. Big offensive possession here for Bryant. Pride, hands for Green. Oh, and go. Green oh. sets a pick. Yep. And it is sold very effectively by Votto Morse. Offensive foul on Charles Pride. Benson Lynn checks in for Bryant, replacing Michael Green. Yeah, Dangerous can, part of the game here for the Bulldogs. Yeah, you can see the Bulldogs came out a little bit flat. You know, as a coach, you want to see the first four minutes. You call that a four-minute war. The Mount has just had more tenacity to start the second half. Mount St. Mary's down by five, but with the ball, Bryant's lead has been his biggest 13. Morse gets around Lynn, and what do we have? A foul on Lynn, Four. who got beat off the dribble and got called for a foul from behind. That's Benson's third foul. And as a team, that's already four fouls. Juan Cardenas checks in. So Benson Lynn has three. Hall Elijah has three. And Juan Cardenas, who has really struggled at the offensive end this season, into the ball game, replacing Charles Pride. Outside, now that's Gibbs. Gets by Lynn right to the basket, lays it in. Benson Lynn turned his head for a second, and his man was gone. It's a three-point game. Naduba, Stokes, now Cardenas, out deep on the left. There's Ike. High post at Stokes, cross court Cardenas. 13 on the shot clock, Stokes straight away. In the corner, Lynn. Stokes right up top, fires away, misses the three, and on a bounce, Morse has the basketball for the mount. Morse, a poku back to Morse. The Mountaineers can tie it with the three this time down. Bryant in the two-three zone. Chong Kui, Jefferson oh, underneath wow. the Poku's wide open wow. and flushes it. It's a one-point game. Yeah. Just like that, Mount is right back in it. See if the Bulldogs can kind of settle down a little bit. Mount has made a strong run. Let's see what they run here. Bryant has three points here in the first four-plus minutes of the second half. Lynn. Now Naduba. Naduba trying to go into the lane. Call for traveling. It'll be Mount St. Mary's basketball with a chance to take the lead when we come back. 15-19 to play in the game. Your score, Bryant 37, Mount St. Mary's 36. This is Bryant men's basketball on NEC Front Row. This jersey means everything. Every practice, every game, every shot is an opportunity. Every day we fight. We scratch, we claw, respect is earned, nothing is given. We wouldn't have it any other way. They say we can't, we say why not. We will never back down. Knock us down and we'll just get right back Let's go! Up. A custom for three. Bash, three in the air from the top, he made it! Marino back out to Johnson. Slater goes to Glides and splits the tee. On three. Good. Underneath. Wow. Melvin! We're the NEC and we're right here. You know where to find us. All in, ball out. Let's get it. So it is a 12-3 run by the Mount St. Mary's Mountaineers to cut a 10-point half def second half uh, deficit down to one with 15-19 to play in half number two. And after a traveling violation on Ikenan Oduba, it will be Mount St. Mary's basketball when we come back with a chance to take their first lead of the game. Yeah. You know, interesting enough, we talked a little bit in the first half. It's a make-or-miss league. It's a make-or-miss game. And to start that second half, you have Mount 6 of 8 from the field, 75%. That's really been the difference so far. The 1-3-1 full-court zone trap for Bryant. And the Mount break it. Jefferson back to Damian chong Kui, who has gone scoreless in this game, was the team's leading scorer coming in. 2-3 zone for Bryant. More like a 3-2 this time down. 
In the corner, it's Gibbs. Gibbs circles into the lane over Grant, makes the shot, and the Mountaineers have their first lead of the game at 38-37. Great move there, able to get middle penetration, good finish, need better defense if you're the Bulldogs. Pass for Grant from Harding, knocked away by Gibbs. He dribbles the lane to the floor and lays it in. It's a 16-3 run to begin the second half, and a three-point lead for the Mountaineers. Naduba finds Cardenas, hands for Benson Lynn. Lynn back to Naduba. Harding straight away. Harding, three dribbles, picks it up. There's Cardenas. Juan back to Patrick Harding. Harding finds Naduba, almost traveled there. Ike right to the basket, high off the window. No, Harding the follow, yes. 40-39, Bulldogs down one about six minutes into the second half. Jalen Gibbs straight away against a 2-3 zone. There's Vado Morse. Gibbs on the right. Morse straight away. Left they him left open. him alone. Missed the three long. Ball kicks to the corner. Gibbs has it. Gibbs down low. Malik Jefferson was, fouled by Cardenas. That's his third. Yep. I think they got a push there on Patrick, actually. Well, okay. Foul is on Harding. That is his first good news because that would have been three in Cardenas. Pride and Green come back in. Harding and Naduba check out for Bryant. Oh, is that Grant too? Yep. yep. Grant comes out as well. All Elijah's back in for Bryant. Apoku. Foul line extended. That's Naeem Miller. In the corner, it's Morse. Over Pride. Push shot off the window and in. Tough shot. And that's what happens when you get a little bit of confidence. Those tough shots start going in. 42-39, Bulldogs down by three with the basketball. Cardenas, Cardenas hard to the basket, lost the ball, and oh, he got bailed out. Fouled by Jefferson, that would have been a travel. Nope, is it on a Poku or Jefferson? What do they call that? If it's Jefferson, it's third, it's his third, but it's on a Poku. It's a Poku, yep. So Cardenas to the line, Juan has really struggled offensively. Averaging less than two points a game, he's six of 11 from the line for the season. But he's 6 of 35 from the field for the season. Cardenas misses the first one. And, you know, it's, and it's it's weird because he had such a good second half of the year for Bryant last year. Yeah. Uh, hopefully he can knock down one to see the ball go through the basket, gain a little bit of confidence. One again. Second one is up and good. 42-40. Bulldogs down two. Still a lot of time left. 13-27. Brian's going to pick up some pressure here to try to get them going a little bit. Pass goes high for Opoku in the backcourt. Back to Morse, who inbounded the basketball. Now Damian Chong Kui. Kui. Morse pops out straight away behind the screen. Morse baseline over Cardenas. Missed it short. Juan grabs the rebound. Here comes Green the other way for Bryant. Freshman in the open floor. Freshman hard to the basket. Lynn, corner, three short. And the rebound comes down to Miller, who fell down but got rid of the basketball. Mount has the ball up two. Chong Kui out near midcourt. Watched by Green. As Brian has junked the 2 3 this time down, going man to man. Chong Kui sold it well. Fouls on Green. That is already 16 fouls on Bryant. And we're just over seven minutes into the second half. Yeah, and one issue for Brian so far, they're in a 2-3 zone, but you still have man-to-man -man responsibilities. We saw Adam get beat off the dribble, Green there peeking on the screen. you got to still keep your guy in front when you're playing defense. Damian Chong Kui watched by Green still. Behind an Apoku screen. Chong Kui now uses Jefferson as a screen. Back up top. That's a Poku. Low block Jefferson. Working on Elijah's. Jefferson over Elijah's. Missed the shot. Cardenas another rebound for Bryant. His third. Here's Green in the open floor. Bryant can tire. Take the lead this time down. Green, what a look underneath for Elijah's. Nobody got fouled. He's going to the line. Great look from one freshman to the junior. Right. Great pass here. You can see Coach Grasso here was urging his point guard to push the ball, push the ball, play with pace. You see a little drag screen here. Able to get around, lefty pass, great pass there by Green. All going to the free throw line. Elijah's only 55% from the line, but his shot blocking ability has landed him in the top 15 in the country. Elijah's first shot is good. 
played only four minutes last Saturday. It's actually a good thing Brian didn't have a game on Thursday because now Brian plays in an 11-team league. You get days off. Elijah misses the second one. 42-41, Bulldogs down by one, 12-15 to play. There's Chung Kui out deep on the right. Behind the screen, dribbles to the baseline, backs up. Malik Jefferson, one dribble. Jalen Gibbs, hard to the basket, rejected wow. by Elijahs, but Jefferson is there. Rebound of Poku, and he missed the shot and is fouled. Nana Poku to the line. If it's on Elijahs, that's four, but they call it on Cardenas. That's his third. Yeah. See there, great blocks there, but that's what happens sometimes when two guys go for a block. It leaves a guy open for the offensive rebound. That's what just happened there. Nana Poku, a game high 13 points, leads the team in blocks, had 11 points and a career high 15 rebounds, and a loss to Merrimack on Thursday. Misses the first one. He'll have another. Adam Grant checks back in after a couple minutes on the bench, replacing Juan Cardenas. So it's Grant, Pride, Lynn, Elijah, and Green. Those are the five on the floor for Jared Grosso. Second free throw coming for the 6'9 Richard sophomore from Woodbridge, Virginia. It is up and no good. Stays a one-point game. Pride the rebound for Bryant. Here's Green. Walks it up over midcourt. Watched by Chung Kui. Green to the left on a bounce. It's Grant. Grant reverses field. Grant going baseline. Grant draws the double team. Grant bounce pass. Elijah lays it in. Great presence oh. by Adam Grant. And Hall Elijah is no. down again and hurts. Looks like he's holding his ankle or Achilles area. Grant had the layup and then crumpled to the floor. They're looking at his right leg. I was watching the basketball, so I did not see what happened to Hall. But this guy has had a lot of bad luck with injuries. Yeah, you can almost see it on his face. Not necessarily he is in pain, but just frustration, you know. Hopefully he'll be okay. We'll get a replay of that if we can. But it is very quiet in here. And this does not look good. Paul is up and limping to the bench. See if we get a good look here. Ooh, oh, yeah, yeah he, he turned, turned that right ankle, ankle over. His ankle, yep. Yep. Hey. So we'll see if we see him again. But he's already dealing with the bad right shoulder and playing with that. And they're going to take a look at the right ankle. Didn't come down on a foot. You see that sometimes. Yeah. He just turned it awkwardly. Yeah. Unfortunately, those are just some of the things that happen with come with playing the game. Hopefully it's not too severe, and hopefully we'll be able to get back on the court soon. We'll take a time out here. We'll keep it here for the moment. Bryant and the Mount shooting about the same from the field there. And Mount St. Mary's does not really shoot threes that well, and they don't shoot them all that much. But the discipline for Bryant, only 14 three-point attempts to this point after firing up 45 a week ago. So Bryant's offense has looked different, but now the rebounding is much different. You see 12 offensive rebounds for the Mount. Nana Poku especially has been very good. Yeah, he's been killing them on that area. If you're Brian, it's really the defense. That's been the story of the second half, allowing great field goal percent for Mount. Let's see if they're able to start to lock them down the rest of the second half. So Bryant with the Elijah's layup is taking the lead by one at 43-42. Mount St. Mary's with the basketball. It's Jalen Gibbs, high post Jefferson. Back to Gibbs, driving the lane, pass down low, laid up and in by a Poku. He's got a game high 15, and Mount St. Mary's has the lead back by one, 44-43. You can see Brian is extremely small here, almost playing five guards. Pride hands for Naduba. Back to Green. Green fouled out deep by Chung Kui. That's the fifth team foul for Mount St. Mary's, but quickly, let's take a look with Elijah's off the floor. I guess Pride would be the center yeah. in this lineup. You do really have five guards yeah. out there against some big people for the Mounts. Jared Grosso seems to be rolling the dice here. Green looking. Green still looking. Had a chance to give it up to Grant and Aduba and didn't. Green hard to the basket on Chong Kui. Got some separation. Blocked. Corner. Lynn. Three. Missed it. 
And the rebound, the five foot eight inch Damien Chong Kui. The bout by one in the ball. Opoku, watch by Grant. Hands for Gibbs. Now Chong Kui out deep. Chong Kui hard to the basket. Skip. That's Bato Morse for three, missed the shot. A rebound pride for Bryant. They dodge a bullet there. Pride. Now Naduba. Naduba hard to the basket, lost the ball. Opoku got it from him. Here's Chong Kui the other way. Chong Kui in the open floor. Chong Kui hard to the basket, the kicks it to Morse. Another chance at a three. That one he made. And it's a four-point lead for the Mount, their biggest lead of the day at the midway point of the second half. And you can see the momentum has shifted. Mount playing with a ton of confidence right now. Pride hard to the basket. There's the Duba up top. It's Lynn. Lynn. That's a three in the air for Pride, and he made it. Big shot. Got it right back. Second three of the game for Pride. He's in double digits with 10. The cut deficit back to one at 47-46. Bryant really needed that one. Big shot by Pride. Chong Kui to the right. Watch by Green. Low block That's Jefferson. Nice. Ike hanging on for dear life. Picked up the foul. And that sends Jefferson to the line. Patrick Harding in the basketball game. Finally, Brian will get some size out there. Replacing Benson Lynn. But, yeah, in a situation like that where you have five guards, they have a 6'9 guy posting up on a six-foot guy. Yeah, yeah. Have to give the foul there. Yeah. Either got to, you know, give the foul or send help. Unfortunately, that's the that's what happens with the mismatch. You know, and right there, Ike had to give up one. Paul Elijah's, by the way, standing at the end of the bench. Not sure if we're going to see him again. He's tested out that right ankle. Malik Jefferson makes the first free throw. He'll have another. Jefferson with 11 points. He and Apoko have been dominant underneath, but we mentioned at the top, both of them playing very well coming into this game. Jefferson will have another to make it a three-point game. And he does not. He missed it. Parting the rebound. Actually took it from Naduba and then hands it back to him. Naduba, Harding. Pride pops out straight away. Watched by Gibbs. Pride. There's Grant. Watched by Morse. Grant finds Naduba in the right corner. Up top, it's Pride. Pride, Harding back to Pride. Nine on the shot clock. Pride right to the basket, lays it up. No, Harding the offensive rebound. Naduba had it, lost it, got it back, still with it. Finds Harding, pass down low, knocked away. For Gibbs, he saw Pride underneath at the last minute, and Gibbs stepped in the passing lane and took it. Timeout, Mount St. Mary's. Catch your breath. 8.52 8.52 to play in a basketball game. Bryant down by two. And I understand the big guy wanting to make a play. There were two white shirts underneath. But I think you need to look where you're throwing it before you throw it. Yeah, you know, we had a good angle on it. He looked like he was open for a quick second. Mount quickly got there with urgency, able to get the steal. And now, you know, they got the ball possession with the 8.53 left. A 16-3 to run at the beginning of the second half erased a 10-point halftime deficit for Mount St. Mary's, and here we are, heading to the top of the stretch. Bryant in a close game, and they're really struggling to score the basketball. Yeah, and not only, you know, struggling to score, it's on the defensive end. You know, you've seen this. You know, it's how you're going to respond. This game, you know, there's going to be ups and downs, and when you get punched in the mouth, how are you going to respond? And that's what Mount has done so far, punch them in the mouth. The other part of it is Adam Grant is really struggling to find his rhythm. And Grant with six points here with 8.52 to go in the basketball game. Averages about 20 a game. He has one point here in the second half. I mean, you look at this and you think, well, if Bryant's going to get on track, it has to be Grant that does it. It's nice to space out the scoring, but in a situation like this, you need to go to your main guy to pull you across the finish line. Grant's really struggling to get free. Votto Morse has done a great job playing man-to-man defense against him. Yeah, you know, credit Miles' defense, but you're exactly right. You know, when you're struggling to score, you count on your big-time players to kind of bail you out. So with 8.52 left to go in this game, expect Adam Grant to try to get back on track. Good news for Bryant. Paul Elijah is back out on the floor after turning his right ankle about three or four minutes ago. Game time. Bryant needs the size. Juan Cardenas back out there as well. Elijah and Cardenas both playing with three fouls. So we'll keep an eye on that for you. Damian Chong Kui against a 2-3 zone. High post, it's Jefferson at the top of the key. Hands for Apokua is a game high 15 points. Chong Kui. There's Morse. 13 to shoot it. 
Chong Kui on the right hand side. Back outside, Elijah's Fox. fouled him, and that's four, four. fouls on Hall yeah. Elijah's, and really a silly foul yeah. when you're playing with three fouls and you're 30 feet from the basket. Yep. Yeah. And these guards are crafty. He knew exactly what he was doing. You know, Hall being in foul trouble at his outside hip, drew another one. Now that's going to force potentially Hall back to the bench. And it looks like he's going to stay out there yeah. with the four fouls. Roll the dice a little bit. Damian Chong Kui, 5'8 sophomore guard out of Baltimore. We mentioned at the top, and front of the one and one is no good. He was a walk on last year, given a full scholarship this year, leads his team in points, assists, and steals. Pride, hands for Grant up top. It's Cardenas, hands back for Elijah, and now Naduba. Naduba, there's Cardenas, going hard to the basket, got the bump, missed the shot, but Juan's going to the line. So Cardenas, if it's not Grant, somebody has to step up. And Juan with a chance to tie the game here with two free throws. Yeah, and I like that play there by Juan. You know, he has a ton of experience. You know, he struggled a little bit so far, but able to get down the hill there, you know, able to get to the free throw line. I like that play because someone is going to have to step up other than Adam. So great play there by Juan. Cardenas to the line. First one is no good. Missed it wide right. He'll have another. Hall will sit down with the four fouls. Jared Grasso having stolen a couple of minutes there. Patrick Harding in the ball game for him. And also into the basketball game, redshirt junior guard Brandon Leftwich wearing number 23 for the mount, replacing Fado Morse as we are on top of another media timeout. Dan Engelstad trying to steal a couple of minutes for his team. Cardenas, second one is up and good. Back to a one-point game, 48-47. Bryant down one, 8-15 to play. Zone trap press again. Chong Kui breaks it at the top. Bryant stays in the 1-3-1 zone with Cardenas at the top of it. Chong Kui dribbles in the traffic, 15 to shoot it, now backs up on a bounce that's left which. Opoku to the side, gives three. That's a big shot. Yep. Jalen Gibbs makes it a four-point game again at 51-47. Naduba with 7.40 to go in the game. Ike to the right against the man-to-man. Uses a Harding screen. Naduba pulls up at the foul line, makes the shot. 51-49. Bulldogs down by two. Ike has six in the game. 7.25 left. Now Bryant falls back into a 2-3 zone. Chong Kui. That's Leftwich. Chong Kui at the foul line. Now in the corner. Leftwich for three. Misses it short. And the rebound, Pride in a hurry. Pride dribbles it over midcourt and stops. Finds his point guard, Naduba. Naduba to the left. Pride to the foul line. Pride circling. Pride up and under. Missed the shot. Rebound out of bounds. Bryant Ball. He got lucky. Pride did everything but spin it home, and it will be Brian Paul when we come back from a timeout. 6.56 to play in the game. Your score, Mount St. Mary's 51, Bryant 49. This is Bryant Men's Basketball on NEC Front Row. Hi again, everybody. I'm Paul Dottino with this week's edition of the NEC Note. Evolved into a real test of wills between these two teams. Offense is not easy to come by, especially here in the second half. You see Charles Pride, good step through there, did everything but spin it home with the right hand, and thankfully for Bryant, Malik Jefferson could not control the rebound. So it'll be Bryant Ball out of the timeout with a chance to tie or go ahead. Pride looking to get it in. Pride still looking, loops it out deep to to, uh, Harding. There's Grant, who has really struggled here to get his offense going. Grant backs up. Grant for three from the top. He made it! Right on cue! Nine points for Adam Grant. And Bryant's got the lead back by one at 52-51. Gibbs. Now Morse. Straight away against the 2-3 zone. Gibbs. Morse up top. Wide open. Damian Chong Kui got it right back. Right back at you. That's a three for Chong Kui. And Bryant's back down by two. 54-52. 6-15 left. Naduba. 
against the man to man Grant screen. and an offensive yep. foul on Patrick Harding for an illegal screen. Yeah. Try to do a pin down, try to get Adam open. Stuck out that hip a little bit, offensive screen. Uh, cheap foul by Harding. Only two on Harding, but now Mount St. Mary's with the ball up two. Chong Kui to Gibbs against the 2 3 zone. There's Morse. Chong Kui straight away. Behind the three. Corner. Gibbs. Three. Made it. This is a team that is in the bottom 15 in the country in three point shooting. Just made two huge threes to give them a five point lead. Naduba. On the left. Dribbles to the top. Ike into the lane. Back outside, it's Grant. Three in the air. Missed it, but he got fouled by Gibbs. He'll go to the line for three. There is a real effort here, you can see, Frankie, to get Adam the ball and get out of the way. Yeah, you can see Adam has that eye. You know, he's going to look to try to make his plays here. You know, he hit one earlier. He knows his team is struggling a little bit, so expect him to be a lot more aggressive heading into this end of this game. He would have been standing on the NBA three-point line that last one. Yeah, hey. He's got the range to do it. Grant's first one is good. He'll have two more. So Grant in double figures with 10. He scored 28 his last time out in the loss to Fairleigh Dickinson a week ago. Grant's second one is up and good. He'll have one more. This to make it a two-point game. Benson, Lynn, and Hall Elijah's in. Pride checks out. Michael Green in as well. Ken and Aduba will sit down as well. Three substitutions for Brian Elijah's playing with the four fouls. Juan has three, by the way. Grant's third one is up and good. 57-55, Bulldogs down two, and all of a sudden Adam Grant has 12 points. Damian Chong Kui over midcourt. Jalen Gibbs with 20 to shoot it. Nano Poku pops out. There's more straight away. Chong Kui, corner Gibbs, drives into the lane. High shot off the window. No. Somehow Jefferson had the rebound and put it back in off the window. It's a four-point game. Yeah. Green up top, Elijah. There's Cardenas. Grant with the basketball. Grant to the foul line. Grant all the way through. Lays it in. Tough move to the basket by Adam Grant. 14 points for him. Five minutes left. It's a two-point game. Yeah, you know, they're going to have to get stops on this end. That's not going to be enough scoring. they got to get stops. Man-to-man this time down for Brian on defense. Damian chong Kui wow. drew the foul on Green. He is crafty yep. at 5'8". Yep. He uses his body positioning exceptionally well. I would think you, as a former point guard, would really appreciate this. Yeah, no, he's, he's at least you had plays. size. This guy doesn't yeah. have size. Hey, listen, he's a lot quicker than I was. We we talked about it in the beginning. You know, he's got you know not the most size in the world, but he's extremely quick and getting over those screens. He's really put a lot of pressure on that defense. Double bonus for Bryant. Chong Kui makes the first one. He'll have one more. Three point game now. Brandon Leftwich into the ball game, replacing Jalen Gibbs for the mount. And Chong Kui at the line for a second free throw. Second one left-handed is good. 61-57, Bryant down four, 4.43 to go. Green to Benson Lynn, who just checked in. Grant on the weave. Now Green. Grant on the left. Grant backing down on Chong Kui. Here comes the double team. Adam falls away, and it rims off. Did everything but fall in. And Nano Poku, the rebound for the Mount. Yeah. Up four and the ball. 4.20 left. Chong Kui out near midcourt. Bryant does need a stop. It's been a while since they've gotten one. Morse around Cardenas. Morse fall away. No. Rebound tipped towards the corner. Saved by Morse. Off of Grant. And Adam stepped out of bounds trying to save it. 50-50 ball. Great play there by Mount. A little more urgency. Able to knock it out. Able to get another extra possession. Hard not to get frustrated if you're Bryant. You've done everything right on the defensive end of the floor. And this happens. Rebounding the basketball has been very difficult here in the second half for Bryant. As we've seen, Nana Apoku and Malik Jefferson dominate underneath at times. 
Press 20 on the shot clock. Mount ball in the corner. Malik Jefferson. Hands for Morse. Watch by Grant. Brian has gone man to man. Damian Chong Kui with 10 on the shot clock. Watch by Green. Chong Kui goes by him. Chong Kui to the basket. Rejected by Cardenas. But Jefferson is there again. And it's a six-point game. And again, that's the risk. You know, two shot blockers, one and Hall in the game. Both go up. Leads to an offensive rebound. Timeout. Jared Grasso. 3.36 to play in a basketball game. Your score, Mount St. Mary's 63, Bryant 57. This is Bryant men's basketball on NEC front row. What if you could get the best of both worlds, business and the liberal arts? And what if you could have the best four years of your life in a student-centered community that helps you create your path, expand your world, and achieve success? Come to Bryant, and you'll achieve more than you ever thought possible. You'll be inspired to excel. John Wallach, Frankie Dobbs, live in Smithfield, Rhode Island. We have 3.36 to play in this basketball game. Bryant now down to Mount St. Mary, 63-57. Some finals from earlier today. Robert Morris now 4-0 in the NEC. They blew out Wagner in Pittsburgh, 94-62. And how about Merrimack? They won again, 58-46 over Central Connecticut State. Merrimack 3-1 in conference, even though they are not eligible for a conference title this year. Brian at 1-1, one and one, trying to avoid falling into the second division of the NEC with a loss today. Bryant with the ball, down six points. 3.30 to go. Green. Naduba on the right-hand side. Waiting against the man-to-man. Ike looking down low, not there. Ike, there's Harding on the baseline to the right. Nine to shoot it. Naduba into the lane. Outside, Green. Three from the top. Missed it. And the rebound, Malik Jefferson. Big defensive possession here. Chong Kui calls out the play into the front court to the right. Behind the screen. Dribbles to the right corner. Jefferson. Hands now for Morse. Morse left alone for three. He missed it. Harding the rebound for Bryant. Big stop there. 250 left. Naduba. There's Grant. Grant to the top. Grant to the foul line. Grant towards the basket. Call for travel. Travel forced it. That is Bryant's 12th turnover. 243 left. Yeah. Gonna need to start on the defensive end. Need a stop here. Chong Kui to the right against the man to man. Chong Kui circling. Morse comes to the basketball. Watched by Green. There's Gibbs, the junior guard. Gibbs crosses over Grant. Kicks outside. A Poku fakes the three. Still 10 to shoot it. Chong Kui dribbles into a double team. Chong Kui blocked by Harding. Ball's on the ground. Harding's got it. Comes Bryant back the other way with 2.15 to go. It's Grant. Grant. Hands now for Pride, who just came on. Green to the corner. Naduba, three. Count it. Big shot there. Timeout, Bryant. Big shot. Uh, Kenan Naduba, three ball from the corner. He has nine. 30 second timeout for Bryant. Down three with just over two minutes left. See there, big shot by Ike, Retro Jr. Brian needed it too. You know, the momentum, you know, they needed that to get back within one possession. He was able to knock it down with 2.05 left to go. It's funny to watch Jared Grasso on the other side, and it's interesting. The guy that you assisted, Tim O'Shea, very stoic. You'd see the hands on the back of the head and 
But Grasso, and you see him there, he originally had a sweatsuit on to start. He had the black sweatsuit on, but here we are late in the game. He's thrown that thing away. He's he's all about the short sleeves in a, in a hot gym. You don't see that from the guy who used to assist. Oh, no. Tim, o, Tim O'Shea was a little bit different than this man yeah, little, on the sideline. A little different personalities. You can see Grasso's definitely very animated, starting in that jumpsuit, as you referenced earlier, now in the short sleeve. He's very much in this. He looks like he's playing just as hard as his players out there. <laughs> he does. <laughs> Three-point game with just over two minutes to go. It's been a real struggle for Brian, who had a 10-point lead at halftime. No foul. And a foul in the yep. backcourt on Ikenu Noduba. And once again, give the sophomore Damian Chong Kui credit for selling it. Listen, he does a lot of he stuff. He is really something to watch. A lot of old school stuff. Stuff I, you know, I was taught in camp, you know, try to get open, be able to sprint, stop, start, have guys run into your back, draw fouls. It's a very veteran move by a sophomore. And, you know, those crafty plays is what it's kind of, you know, catapulted Mount the second half. He's 5'8 and 145 pounds soaking wet. And he's been the most important player here in the second half of this team. Sean Quee to shoot two. First one is good. We'll have another. Good news for Bryant. They are over the limit. I mean, double bonus for the mount. Second free throw is good. He's five of six from the line today. 65-60. Bryant down five with two minutes to go. Green to the right. Watched by Chong Kui. Green behind the screen. Green to the foul line. Coming around on the screen. It's Ikenna Noduba. Noduba with 15 to shoot it. Ike into the lane. What do we Good have? An screen. offensive foul Good on Good Patrick screen. Harding. Right and once again, Damien Chong Kui was the man who drew it. The right call. Chong Kui being active. Pressure on Ike. Patrick gets there a little late. Tries to get him open. Moving screen. Good call by the refs. 148 to go. Bryant down five. Needing a stop desperately again. Chong Kui's going to take some time off the clock. Working the ball to the right. A Kenner Naduba waiting for him. 15 to shoot it now. Chong Kui behind the screen. Cardenas has him on a switch. In the corner, it's a Poku. Eight to shoot it now. Chong Kui sees it. Steps back. Fires. He missed it long. Rebound knocked around. That's Mount St. Mary's has the basketball. 116 left. This has happened time and time again to Bryant. Chong Kui with nine to shoot it. Coming up on a minute to go. Chong Kui around the screen. Chong Kui to the middle yeah. of the lane. Had the ball stripped. Pride coming the other way. It's Naduba. Naduba. Cardenas steps into a wow. three, and he got knocked away from him at the last minute. And what happened? They They're going to give there. it back to Bryant. Jalen Gibbs stepped out of bounds. Ike found Cardenas, who wanted to step into a three, had it altered at the last minute. And that will turn into a line drive underneath. Bryant gets the ball back. That's big with 53.1 seconds left. Yeah, caught a break there. Juan really wasn't a good decision. Luckily, you know, Mount caught the ball, but we're on the free, on the sideline or baseline. Extra possession. Green to get it in from underneath. Fifty three point one seconds left and what do we have? The timeout on the floor. I think are they gonna either check the possession or clock? It'll be one or the other as the referees come over here to take a look with fifty three point one seconds left and Bryant down by five. And it's interesting, it happened very slowly throughout the course of the second half, but you look up and Bryant was playing so well for long periods of time in the first half. And then the Mount ripped off that 16-3 to run to begin the second half to erase a 10-point deficit. And Bryant's been going uphill ever since. It hasn't been a big deficit. As a matter of fact, this is the biggest Mount lead they've had. But it just seems like a lot more against this team. Yeah, you know, and it started because it was the momentum shift. Like you mentioned, the 16-3 to run to start the half. And it hasn't been a huge lead. It's almost been a death by a thousand cuts. It's been one play here, one play there. And now they're looking at their biggest deficit. But at the same time, 53 seconds left. Bryant having experienced ball underneath. Let's see what Coach Grosso draws up underneath. 
And we're taking a look at the replay. You just saw it on the screen, and there you see the referees are right next to us taking a look and seeing exactly. I don't know if they're checking clock, whether or not Pride fouled Gibbs as he fell out of bounds, yeah. or whether or not Gibbs indeed put his foot on the line. It could be one of anything. But in the end, it should be Bryant Ball with 53.1 seconds left down five. Obviously not an insurmountable deficit, but against this team and the way they've been able to constantly convert and work the offense each time down, your margin for error is thin, to say the least. Very thin. See here on the replay exactly what happened. I mean, I don't think that's backcourt as Pride got the ball to Ike. And, yeah, you see Gibbs, and Gibbs did step out of bounds, so that's not in question. Yeah, I think it's more the clock they may be looking at here. Okay. Good defensive play, by the way, by Michael Green at the other end to get the ball away from Damian Chong Kui from behind. So let's see what the referees have finally decided as we look at this play again and what they do with the clock. It will be Bryant Ball underneath. Jared Grasso has had a lot of time to diagram a play. Yeah. It's the shot clock that they changed. 22 seconds on the shot clock. Bryant Ball underneath. Down five. Comes. Green looking to get it in. In a lot of trouble. Loops it high for Grant. Grant fakes the three. There's Green. 50 seconds left. Green backs up. Gibbs follows him. Green goes wow. around Gibbs, and Gibbs fouled him. One and one for Bryant. The foul on Gibbs is his fourth. And so Michael Green to the line. Has shot it well from there, 21 to 27. Six points for Green today. That's exactly what you want to see if you're Brian. Opportunity to cut this lead to three with no time coming off the clock. One and one for Green. First one is good. I'll have another. <clears throat> Look at the five out there. Again, Brian has gone without a center. I guess Pride would be the center with this five. Green's second one is good. 65-62, Bryant down by three and playing incredibly small here. But they're pressing all over the place. Gibbs looking to get it in. It hit something. It hit the you backboard. Can't, you can't do that. It hit the backboard and they didn't that. call it. You can't do that. Hang on. And, well, oh, Bryant wow. gets the ball anyway on a turnover, but the inbounds pass hit the side of the backboard. And they didn't call it. Look at that. I yeah. guess the referees say it hit the side instead of the back, and that put it in play. But either way, Gibbs stepped out of bounds. Bryant Ball on the turnover with 39 seconds left, down three points. <laughs> so now the referees will come here and try and decide if indeed it did hit the backboard in back. We see the replay here on the screen. Yeah. I guess it hit the side, and that's in play? No. I, I don't know. You, you they can't. ruled that Gibbs stepped out of bounds, so really the issue here is the clock again. Yep. Because if they ruled the ball was out of play before it came back down, that'll save Brian a few more seconds. Yeah, I think, the, unfortunately, I think the refs missed it when it hit the backboard. So the play went on, and then, you know, Gibbs stepped on that sideline. So technically, the clock should have stopped there, but you can clearly see on the replay. Not only did he hit the side of the backboard, he was the first one to then touch the ball <laughs> when it came back in. So a couple missed calls, but fortunately for Bryant, Gibbs stepped on the sideline and they will retain. Hey, you possession. see Jared Grasso saying that's traveling. Yeah, you can't do that. <laughs> you can't do that. So a wide array of things that were wrong on that play, yeah. and I, the referees apparently missed about three yeah. of them. Hey, you don't see that every day, that's for sure. So Grasso was screaming for traveling. It'll be Bryant Ball. They do put a couple extra seconds back on the clock. 41.9 seconds to go. Bryant down three. So all of a sudden, the game has shifted a little bit here. Let's, see. Let's hope Bryant can do something with this extra chance they've been given. They do it to get it in. Green comes to the basketball. 40 seconds left. Bryant with the ball down three. 
Green to the top. There's Grant. Up fakes the three. Watch by Gibbs. Grant fires away, and it rims off. Went around the rim and out, and the ball goes out of bounds off the Duba. That would have tied it. Yeah. Good shot there by Grant, rise and fire in and out. But, hey, if you're Brian here, still 28 seconds left. Come with pressure try to get another turnover. Shot clock is off. So Brian's going to have to foul if the Mount gets the ball in. Gibbs looking, still looking. Almost stolen by Green. Ball goes out of bounds. And what do we have? Timeout, Mount St. Mary's. Try and get the ball in. Basketball, like baseball, a game of inches. Yep. That shot by Adam Grant was at least a quarter to a halfway down before it rimmed out. It really was. That would have tied it. It was. 27.7 seconds left. It'll be Mount St. Mary's basketball in the backcourt. Obviously, Brian is going to have to foul. And the interesting lineup we were talking about earlier with the four guards and Charles Pride at 6'4", the tallest guy out there yeah. playing center. Yeah. They've done that multiple times today. I mean, Elijah still is eligible with the four fouls, as is Cardenas. Yep. And you can see here Adam going up to the ref. So what they're going to try to do here, they're going to press. And you can see that the possession arrow is in favor of Brian. So they're not necessarily going to foul. They're going to look to trap, get a jump ball, retain possession. Exactly why Adam went over to the ref. Hey, we're not looking to foul. We're getting the jump ball. So be on the lookout for this here. Bryant pressing again. 27.7 seconds left. Bulldogs down three, but Mount St. Mary's with the basketball. Inbound to Poku in the backcourt. It's Vado Morse. There's Chong Kui. Back to Morse. Now Bryant's going to have to foul. What happened? Ten seconds? No. What is going on here? What they do we have? Stop. They never... I don't know. What's is it ten on? seconds? I'm not sure. Let's what see. Again, this has been very confusing. The referees yeah. have not exactly been on point here in the last minute. Yeah. It could have been timeout by Dan Engelstad, but we're having yet another discussion. Jared Grasso wants yeah. an explanation. Yeah, you see him over there. Seconds, and now the refs. I'm not sure quite what's going on. I, it's tough. To I don't see. think we're the only ones who are confused here. It's tough to see because the shot clock wasn't on because it was under 30 seconds. Right. So you didn't have that to look at. But instead, they called a timeout, knowing the differential with the time. It'd be interesting to see what they. They call here. 20.4 seconds left in the basketball game. 10 seconds did not run off the clock. There are only about 7 or 8 that ran off the clock. So it's not a 10-second roll. It's not a 10-second call. We do know that Mount St. Mary's called a timeout. I'm really not sure what the problem is. There was no foul anywhere. And... Yeah, it definitely wasn't a timeout from Mount because the coach can't call a timeout, and the player has to. No player called a timeout, so this this is weird. We'll see what they call. It has been a bizarre set of circumstances here in the final minute of the basketball game. Jared Grasso wants an explanation. He does not look entirely thrilled with the answer, yeah. as you can see there. <laughs> And what do we have? It's going to be Mount Basketball with 24, 20.4 seconds left. And now yet more discussions. And yet another huddle. Okay. 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 So the shot clock was on, and that was the problem. So it's Mount Ball on the side. Looking to get it in. Still looking, and now we have a foul. Who's it on? Yep. I think it's on green before the ball in play. Okay. Clearly a directive from the sideline there to make sure that Bryant gets the ball back. So Green picks up the foul, his third, but that puts the wrong guy at the foul line. Damian Chong Kui only has seven points today, but has been the MVP of this game in the second half. First shot is good, make it a two-possession game. Yep. He'll have another. Yep. Chong Kui again. 
Second one is up and good. 67-62 with 20.4 seconds left. Yep. And Bryant needing to go the length of the floor. There's Green in the backcourt. Green between his legs to the right. Green behind a screen. 13 seconds left. Green, a long three. Missed it short. Rebound to Duba and saved it off of Chong Kui out of bounds with yep. 7.5 to go. Yep. If you're... I think... Uh, I'm just going to wipe up here. But if you're Brian here, seven and a half seconds on the clock, you need to score, whether it's a two or three, make it a one-possession game, and then on defense, either a quick steal or jump ball to regain possession. But... Nothing can happen here. They need a quick score. Now the referee saying to everyone from Mount St. Mary, sit down on the bench. Bryant to get it in. Still looking to do so. Green finds Grant. Need corner it. three. Got, Got it. it. Got With 5.2 seconds yep. left. Yep. Timeout. Mount St. Mary's. That's exactly what Bryant needed. Yep. 5.2 seconds left. And no ability to advance the basketball. Yep. The degree of difficulty on that shot, by the way, high for Adam Grant. A fallaway three in the corner over Jalen Gibbs. Yep. Grant was 17 points after that made three. Yep. 67-65. So as we were saying at this point in the ball game last week, the window is still open. Yep. Hey. With 5.2 to go, it's a one-possession game, two-point game. And that was a big shot for many reasons. Not only did they need a bucket, but it was a three. So now they're only down two. Now what Brian is going to look to do, get some pressure, maybe possibly a five-second count. If not, they're going to look to try to get an immediate jump ball. May not have enough time with only five. Then they got a foul. You know, being two points, now they can afford. If Mile goes down, makes one, they're still in the game. Unfortunately, if they do make two, it's four points. So a lot of options here. Brian needs a steal, ideally, here. So Nathaniel Stokes in the game for Bryant, along with Grant, Pride, Naduba, and Lynn. So they do have a center on the floor, yep. and they bring in Stokes to guard the inbounds, which is smart. One of the tallest guys for the Bulldogs at 6'9". Quick steal or foul, if you're... Very smart, here. by oh, the way. Look at this. This is a... I saw this last year. It's almost going to be like a football Everybody's route. Everybody will start from out of bounds. You don't see that too yeah, much. It'll be just like football. They're going to run routes here to get open. Apoku to get it in. Hand off. Hands off now. Vado Morse. Morse Turn threw over. the ball away. It's the Duba. And got lost it out of bounds. It'll be Bryant Ball with 2.9 seconds left. Right, they're going to look at this. Naduba stole the basketball. Lost it out of bounds. It's all in the replay now. We couldn't see it. We were shielded. I think that went off Chong, Damian Chong Kui. Yeah, I think that so. went off his leg. It'll be Bryant Ball with 2.9 seconds yep, yep. left and a so. chance to tie or win. Yep. You see Take a look. Yep, yes, that went off of Damian Chong Kui's foot. Yep. It'll be Bryant Ball in the front court with 2.9 seconds left. What a play by Ike. Great play there. You know, Mount tried to get cute a little bit with the out-of-bounds play. Turned it over. Ike, heads up play, was looking to score, and clearly off of 15's foot here. Yeah, that's clearly off his foot. No doubt about it. That's going to be Bryant Ball. But the inbounds play, you were saying you had seen that before. I have, yep. So I saw that, you know, a D3 team had ran it either last year or a couple years ago, if my memory serves me right. Other teams have started to mimic it. Um, and the idea is kind of like football. You know, they hike it. Yeah. Guys run individual Only routes. this time you can set picks to get your you receiver picks, free. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, not a play. Rehearsed a lot of time there. And you can see Mount, not really familiar, turned it over. And now Brian has a shot to either tie the game or even win it here. Referee's still looking at it. I think now it's more about the clock. Because if you yep. were watching, it was clearly off of Damian John Kui. The yep. question is, what should the game clock read? Right now, it reads 2.9 seconds. It didn't hit Ike on the way by. Yep. It's Bryant Ball. And if you're Bryant here, you know, ideally, you'd want to get it in your best player's hands. And Adam just Is there any shot. doubt that Bryant goes for the win here? We've done enough games together, yep. and in every instance, it's been a three to win the basketball game. It so has. with 2.9 yeah. seconds left, obviously you don't have a lot of chance for ball movement, right. but still, 
every single time Brian has come to this situation, yep. it's been Adam Grant for three yep. in yep. one way or another. Yep, and I would expect that here too. Coach Carrasso loves to go for three in these situations. Look to see Adam start low, possibly a screen the screener look, but look for Adam to get a, the ball back on top here. Let's see it. Charles tried to get it in. Bryant with a chance to win the game. 2.9 seconds left. Pride still looking. A lob for Stokes. Back to Grant for the win. Long. And Bryant loses by two. Good idea. Good play call. Just wasn't able to get it down. Grant had his chance in the corner. That's the third time this season Adam Grant has had a chance to take a three with the game on the line. And unfortunately for Adam, he is 0 for 3. We saw it here against Brown. We saw it at Rutgers. And we just saw it again here today. Your final score, Mount St. Mary's 67 and Bryant 65. Back to wrap it up.